Do you even remember how you got here? Of course I do. By boat. With you. We put up a tent and... Are you sure? I... I don't understand. You're gonna miss them again. Green hell, permadeath. One take, all or nothing. Let's begin. First, I gather some stones, sticks, and rope. I then crafted a couple of stone blades, spear, and an axe. After that, I restocked everything to max and ventured off towards the small tribal village. And we have an injury right off the bat because I made a boo-boo. Right off the bat, we already have a nice little plant over here. That's good, I'm gonna take this. Hopefully there's no snakes over here. Okay, I'm gonna take that. On the other side over here, there should be a, a healing plant, a bandage plant. What the fuck is it called? I don't know what the hell the name is. <laughs> what the heck the name is. Yeah, right here. Here it is. Okay. This is gonna help us right now, actually. A craft. Make all three bandages. There we go. And then if I inspect myself, go down to my leg, and I apply the leaf bandage, I should be good to go. Okay. You don't want to take these leaves and make them into stuff because you might need the bandages themselves. So just leave the bandages the way they are. Only craft as you need things. That's what I recommend. So we're going to the small village right now. Hopefully not get attacked by a jaguar. If we do get attacked by a jaguar, we're going to die. We're dead right off the bat. So we're going to try and avoid that at all costs. Okay, once you get up this log right here, we'll be close, pretty close to the small village. What you want to do now is you want to look up and try and find two coconuts, okay? If you find a coconut on the floor, immediately look up wherever you are and look at the coconut trees because that means that the coconuts, there should be two coconuts above you. If you see a dead bird harvest it, you want the feathers. I might as well take the meat anyway. Why not? I don't see any coconuts yet, so that's not a good sign. There's a coconut right here. So when you find a coconut on the floor, you may need to look up around you and you'll see them, okay? Okay, I want all three of these coconuts because two of them are going to be used for bowls and one's going to be used for a Biden, okay? There we go. All right, I'm going to drink them all. Harvest two of them. And then craft this one with a rope. So that I can make a coconut Biden. Thank you. I'm gonna eat these to turn them into bowls in this tab right here. And there we go. All right. What you then want to do is you want to get to these hogs right here. There should be three of them. Okay. Each of them drop four bones. What you want to do is you want to aim right for the face to instantly kill them and then harvest them for their bones. With their bones, you're gonna make bone armor. That's what you wanna do next. Once I was done skinning the boars for bones, I then crafted a full set of bone armor by using one banana leaf, three bones, and two rope. I then built a frame and placed a banana leaf roof on top of it in order to protect my fire for when it started to rain. I took those coconuts I ate earlier and placed them on the floor by harvesting and eating them to make them bowls. I checked myself for leeches, washed myself off, and went to sleep in the hammock that was at the small village. When you wake up, it might still be raining, I guess. Uh, or it might not be. <laughs> but we're up nice and early. I like waking up at 6 o'clock in the morning in the game. And that is all of our water right there. So now what we need to do is we need to get dry leaves. We need to get a, a rock because I need to make an axe as well. That would help me tremendously. But look for something like this. This will have dry leaves on it. Just smack it. There we go. And then, dry leaves are mostly on the bottom, at the very bottom. They're not gonna be hanging anywhere. One. I don't know, that might not make sense to you. It makes sense, it made sense to me. Use, put the dry leaf inside it, like so. Wanna make sure you have enough stamina to do it, just so you know. 
Otherwise, we won't be able to do it. Ignite. I'm going to put our uh, two bakery meat on there because they take the longest to cook. And we're going to just very quickly, one, sort our backpacks. There we go. I got six bird feathers. Might as well just craft these with small sticks. I need two feathers. There we go. With the rocks, we want to make another axe. So we're going to do craft and stone axe. There we go. And now we have a stone axe. We can drop the 10% blade. We're not going to need that. And put the axe right there. And then we're going to want to make a bow. To make a bow, we need a long stick and a rope. So craft and a rope and craft. You want to make the long bow last because you want it to have as much durability on it as possible. Right now it's only has 29, but you know, it is what it is. We got three arrows to use if needed. We also have a spear also if needed. Just be careful of a jaguar that may or may not come attack you while you're over here. Just so you know, it's not going to be fun. You will probably get scared the first time because you're probably not aware of what sounds to look for. Just so you know. I'm going to turn up my headset because uh, that would also help too. All right. And now all we got to do is we're going to make another fire underneath this ritual thing right here. And we're going to start from right here. That's not a jaguar. Okay. All right. Small fire. We're going to need one, this plant right here first. Okay, and then two, I think I already got it, if I'm not mistaken. I do. Is that rope that was on that tree right there. All right. So, we need dry leaf, which I already have. Just going to use the hand drill. Dry leaf. There we go. Come on. And then we put that in the fire. And we drink the Ayakusta. Ayahawk. Ayahawk. I don't know. Whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> hey. What are you doing here? Uh, hey, wait! Kid? Hello? Do you remember how we got here? Mia? Is that you? First contact is always difficult. They're extremely weary. I don't remember anything. You you were calling to me. I ran out of the tent and they have to. Civilization is killing them. And we don't even realize it. Mia. Yeah. Maybe. It would have been better if I'd just died back then. Mia, yeah. I When the American colonization began, the conquistadores brought their diseases here with them. Many tribes were wiped out, and the rest moved even deeper into the jungle. 
Chief Guini went on and on about whole generations of his ancestors being decimated until they received a gift from the jungle. And me? <laughs> Naively, I assured them about our good intentions. Just let me. They trusted us. Embraced us as their own. They even... They even shared their secret with us. Dios mío. I just wanna... Jake? Come in, please! I need you! Mia? Wait! I'm here! Is it really you? What happened? Are you safe? <laughs> Gracias a Dios que estás vivo. Me? <laughs> I'm safe. Trust me. Tell me what happened to you. I, I was losing it trying to contact you. I was hoping you could tell me that. You called me in the middle of the night and I, I, I ran out to look for you and all I remember is running and falling? Wait, you fell? That doesn't sound good. Okay, okay, um, take it easy. Breathe. Do you know where you are? I... I, I have no idea. Can you give me some clue as to your whereabouts? A landmark or something? Found a map. It's half burnt, but there's a location marked on it. Uh, Lambda 2. Not sure what it is. Do you? No, I don't think so. Can you get there? Well, I will try. You... tell me... left me. Mia? Come again? You're breaking up. Without the... Oh, hope... Mia? Mia! Ah, oh, fuck! Battery's dead. All right, so that was basically the start of that story. Now we're gonna travel over to the mine, which is just over here. And we're pretty much good to go. Everything here should be okay. Now I saw some bananas, but maybe not. All right, let's just go, let's just head on out. And head on out, I did. I was keeping an eye out for a few items as well. Tobacco plant, plantain plant, psychotria, corpses, which I referred to them as carcasses in the video. And I was trying to find those for maggots, molinaria, which is the plant that we craft into bandages and painkillers. The painkillers will come in handy later on. The six most important items to continue with the story without dying. But what was our first destination? Well, it was the Jeep. And the easiest way to get there was to follow the dirt road northeast. All right, keep following the road and you'll come to this bridge right here. And on the bridge without dying, painkillers is what you need. You also need this jerry can to get to the mine where we want to go. We got a Biden as well and candy bar. There we go. Perfect. There is something over there. I don't know what the heck that is. I'm not going to bother. Don't think I need it. Okay. Keep following the road northeast-ish. More towards the east area. Until you get to this campsite over here. Well, I don't know if it's a campsite. But until you get to whatever the heck that thing is over there. Okay. Probably you should be able to run here. I don't think anything's inside here. But you know, who knows these days. Okay. And then once you get here, you want to go underneath this log right here. Which is now a southeast-ish area. And when you do that, you should find a cave right in front of you somewhere. Should. Right here in front of me. Okay. 
Uh, I want to take some more of these because they're just here, so why not? You never know. Thank you. Good. And we're going to keep on going. We're keeping an eye out for also some red berries as well. Because we're going to need those to continue with the story. And it's best to have those as quickly as possible before we die. Okay, I think we're still going south, southeast. Yep. So, we're going to just keep on going. That's a storm, I think, coming. Not a jaguar. Okay. And there we go. We should be where we got to go. I want to know what this is first. That's not what I need. Uh, no, none of these plants are what I need. Okay. What time is it? In the morning. Nine in the morning. Okay. It is raining, I believe. That's fine. So with the jerry can, you're going to want to hit this generator. Hit this button right here when it says you can. And now we're going down. I'm going to listen to oh. some dialogue. Yeah. There. Oh, we're going down. Jake? Oh my god, I'm freaking out here. Why did you go silent? What happened? Battery died. I had to charge it. We can't talk long. Just tell me where you are. I'll find you somehow. Me, I we'll go. Told you. Oh, we I want you. this. Let's focus on you, okay? Plant right here. Report everything. I'll always be here for you if you need to talk. I believe you want that plant. Actually, I'm not sure about that plant. That plant is new, but I'm gonna take it anyway. Okay, will do. Over and out. Uh, you want? Come in handy. <laughs> if there's a jeep here, who knows what else I can find? True. All right. Um, so you want that plant, but you also want a plant with pink flowers on it. That's the one you're gonna need for, I believe, venom and poison stuff. Here is what we need right here. This little flower. This pink flower. Okay, we don't need the flower itself, just the leaves. So this is tobacco. This is some kind of herb. Okay, well, I'm not sure what else. And that's also an unknown herb as well. That's fine. All right. Anyway, that's that. So you're gonna come up here. You're gonna grab the grab the grappler, grappling hook, whatever, <laughs> grappling hook, and then you're gonna try and just salvage a little bit of food. Not much, just a little bit. If you want to read stuff, you can. If you want to save the game, you can. Meh. When we die, we're dead. It's not going to matter. Uh, in here might be some painkillers. There might not be painkillers. That's RNG. So, we got to listen for a jaguar. So, I'm not going to play any more dialogue. Got to listen for a jaguar. We got to find the red berries. As we're walking back uh, southeast. Oh, here's some berries right here. Okay. Okay. Hopefully we can find another one. We'll see. <gasps> oh, it's a thunder. That's what it was. Thought it was something growling at me. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I guess it was something growling at me. Interesting. Okay. Well, there's a puma. And I shot it right in the face. Easy game. Okay. <laughs> and we did not get injured because we have armor on. And that's why you have armor right there. Because you never know. So we're going to just keep on heading southeast. Well, we're going the wrong way. We're going to go southwest. I'm going the wrong damn way. Now that we're heading in the correct direction, which is southwest, I managed to find a couple of items on my way back. I found mushrooms that would take care of parasites if I needed to drink at the dirty water. While traveling southwest, I was able to find a dirt road again. While walking along the dirt road, I noticed that I missed a psychotria bush, which I quickly harvested. I continued my adventure southwest and managed to find my way back to the small tribal village. When I arrived at the small village, I quickly went to sleep in the hammock. When I woke up the first time, I noticed it was raining, so I decided to fill up my Biden using the coconut bowls. I then went back to sleep, woke up again, noticed it was raining. I tried to exploit, not really an exploit, but I tried to use the rain to my advantage to try and fill up my Biden even more, but the game said 
No. We now have 58 water. And it stops raining. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Alright, the game was like, no you're not. Okay, game. I see you. There was not much else I needed to do here. So I just went and I continued my adventure to the Lamba 2 site. We're about to hallucinate anyway, it's okay. F it. Oh look, one the last one we needed. There we go, I'm just so good at this game, dude. Do not judge me for my superior intellect. I have no idea why my bow is not there, but it's not there. I'm also gonna hit this too, cause I need these leaves. Make bandages. I'm gonna craft the bandages right away. I'm gonna walk across this and then go up this log right here. As long as it wasn't a freaking uh, jaguar or a puma, I don't really care. <laughs> Alright. Now we can climb up this thing. Okay, now we should be able to just run freely around here. This should be like a safe haven kind of thing. So there you go. New dialogue and stuff. We're not going to go into the story stuff. This is not a story playthrough as I've said multiple times now. But we're not going to bother. I will use I will use the dialogue when it's needed, but for the most part... Meh. I'm gonna drop that and take this obsidian one instead. I'm going to craft the fire right under here. Okay, gonna need more sticks. All right, and now we drink the ayahuasca, whatever it's called. The book was quite good, but people aren't interested in lost tribes, deforestation, or global warming. We don't think about such things until it's too late. They only care about themselves until tragedy strikes. People just don't care. It wasn't any different this time. No one took an interest in them. Unless there was some money to be made. You think I'm selfish just like everyone else, don't you? Maybe you're right. Maybe I should have just given up. What happened? Why are you here? I know what drove us. But it doesn't justify anything. If not for me, you wouldn't have to go back to the jungle. Mia... I... I, I didn't know. Ooh. Ooh, what's your top? Blah, 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 blah. Anyway. What? Okay, it's gonna be a crocodile somewhere over here.
I think I see it down there. Right there. What the fuck you want, sir? You ain't nothing. I am superior in every way. I'm gonna drink this coconut though, thanks. I'm gonna show you this area. I'm not gonna spend too much time in this area. Alright, this is the area right here. Poke. Drink. Thank you. It's nice. I'm gonna get these backpacks though for the cans good. And uh, other stuff. Some pit pills? I found some pills again. There we go. Okay. That's it. This is that's just it's a, it's a nice area right here. Use that campfire too. You can make a campfire now in your book as well, right here. Okay. There's other things you can make too, but I don't know where those are. I have not yet discovered everything in the book. That's why I said this is not a story playthrough. This is just getting to the green hell difficulty. All right. So now we have to go from here because back there you'll find a paper and it'll have an airplane on it and it'll have an arrow going directly east. So we're going directly east because of that, because of that only reason <laughs> we should be able to run up here there shouldn't be anything to kill us or to harm us up here there might be a snake up here if you come up here that's probably it though i don't know this game is very rng i i think i have leeches on me uh right there Get out of here thank you let's continue on with our adventures onwards and forwards okay when did you get here you gotta go up here climbing place Yeet. There we go. And then another yeet up here. Okay, okay. And then we head along this path. Now there's definitely gonna be some snakes or some shizzle on this path, so be careful. Is that poo or is that uh I think that's poo. That's I'm pretty sure that's poo. Not a carcass. There's a snake right there. Suck it. I think we have to go uh, back that way. I think that's the easiest way to go. Hold up. It's gonna run a little bit. I'm pretty sure if you go this way, instead of going east, if you go like north over this way, I'm pretty sure you'll get to the air, the uh, airstrip faster. This should be the airstrip over here. Yep, right here. Easiest way to go. North and then east right after that. Now there should be a puma up here. If I do not get attacked by a puma, I will be shocked. Because there's always a puma or some shit up here to attack me. Bum, bum. Ba -na -na -na, ba -na -na -na, ba -na -na -na, -na -na. My bad. I got too into it. Alright. That should do it. That should do it. Should is the keyword here. Oh, painkillers. Wow, I got so many of these, dude. Oh my god. I'm gonna eat all this stuff because I can. Haha. Thank you. Let's talk into the radio. Hello, can anyone hear me? I need help. Anyone, come in, please. I need help. Anyone, come in, please. Fucking hell! Copy, this is Manaus Control Tower, over. <laughs> you can hear me? You can really hear me? I need help. Affirmative. Keep calm now. I can hear you. You're going to be all right. Please give us your name and position. Over. This is Jake Higgins. I'm on a makeshift airstrip in the middle of the jungle. I'm not sure where exactly. Copy. That Jake Higgins? Again? Okay. I know where you are. Please hold. Over. Okay. Are you alone? Over. There's a girl with me, Mia. Copy. Is there a man with you? Over. No, there's nobody else here. Can you hear me? Copy. Just stay where you are. Over. W will someone fly over? How long shall I wait? Keep calm and stay put. Help is on the way. Over and out. Hey, what? What do you mean by again? 
Am I in some sort of danger? I mean, what's going on? Answer, please. I beg you. Please, please answer me. I don't know what's going on. Fuck. 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 What the fuck was that? Mia, you're not gonna believe this. I found an airstrip, and the radio is working. Help is on the way. <laughs> At last. That was a strange conversation, though. They asked me if there was a man here. Any idea what all that was about? I'm just glad you're safe now. Right. And since I know how to get out of here, now I need to find you. Just... come home. No. No, I won't leave you behind. You have to. You have to make it. For me. The only thing you will find here is disappointment. You don't need me anymore, Jake. It's time for me to go. Stay where you are and wait for help. No, no, Mia, talk to me. Where are you? Mia, come in. I can't just abandon you. Mia, say something. Please. Mia, come on. It's time to go. I found a way out. Please. God damn it, say something. Can't okay, use the key on the padlock? get the climbing equipment and I'm gonna show you guys a nice little way to go so from right here go straight east over this way okay watch out for pumas pumas will kick your ass it looks so good when it's raining I don't like the visual effect of the rain although I mean I understand why it looks like that but uh, the visual effects of the plants and stuff when it's raining is nice anyway they want to come here and then once you find this path right here 20, 23, just go down the path. Don't run, because there could be spiders, there could be snakes along this path. So don't run, but just follow the path, and you'll come to a big, big rock. Okay, once you get to this big rock right here, go left. Again, do not run, because there could be snakes, there could be spiders. If you hear a snake or a spider, immediately take your hand off the keyboard and just look around. Okay. And now we can climb down this little thing right here. Nyeow. Ayo. Oh. Ayo. Okay, now we want to get this diving equipment and jump on in the water 360. Now we want to go down into here. And then you'll come up to this big area right here. Just swim all the way up. Don't hold shift because you can't swim faster. Just so you know, you might do that by accident, by like just a, you know, just a thing that you do because, you know, hold shift to swim faster. In this game, it doesn't do that. You hold shift to run though, but swimming, it won't do that. Okay. So, we're going to just keep on going. We have all of our Psychotra ready. Okay. We found all that in like the first newbie area that we were in. Okay, well, I'm not gonna really say, well, it's kind of a newbie area. We found it in the first newbie area, so we don't need to look for it ever again, which is good. But uh, if you don't have it, you're gonna have to look for that. Otherwise, you're gonna die. Also, make sure you have extra scraps in your bag, okay? This part is gonna make or break you right here. This is what's gonna make or break your entire game play, okay? And I'm gonna show you why in a couple seconds. Now we need a color toad like this one. Okay. Uh, what we need to do is we need to inspect ourselves real quick. Find out where the injury is right there. We need to go and craft. Hello. We need to go and craft. I think it's a tobacco leaf. I forget. It might not be a tobacco leaf. It might be a... No, a tobacco leaf. Okay. That's going to help with the poison. Okay. Next, we need to take painkillers. We have a shiz on a painkiller just to get rid of the uh, us losing our stamina. Okay. Now you might not have painkillers, but that is why you need painkillers right there. It's because if you lose your stamina, 
you'll probably die out here okay so we're gonna let the poison go uh the bandage will fill up as you can see the gray is turning slowly into white so when you see that go away I immediately apply another bandage okay you're gonna need to do that for quite some time but you should be okay if you do all that correctly all right if you don't do that correctly you might want to take this next step few steps a little bit quicker okay so this goes here. Uh, because you will die the right if you don't do it right. Okay. You might also want to make sure you have enough sticks. Make sure you have what you want to do. I'm going to take this. Okay. Uh, do I have... I'm going to do something for you. I have a dry leaf. And I have my hand drill. Okay, let me just, uh, let me show you something. Okay. Go pick up this toad over here. So what will happen is if you hit a stingray, you'll also get poisoned just like that if you hit a stingray. Okay. Avoid the stingrays. Now this is just going to be for, uh, carry on about your life, little buddy. This is for, just to show you, experimental purposes. Okay. So if you look in the bottom left corner, you can see my stamina is depleting pretty fast. And it might not look like it will matter now, but it will matter in the future. So the more that you're wandering around, the more that you're walking around, the more that you're doing stuff. For example, I'm not going to be able to make my campfire, uh, my fire real quick if I don't freaking do this. The more you're doing stuff and the less time you're actually trying to get to the spot, it's going to be worse and worse for you. Okay. So I'm going to show you for experimental purposes that you can just come here right away. If you have all the ingredients and you're able to... Maybe if you sleep on the floor and you get a worm, you can drink this and you'll be fine.
happened. I'm alive. I'm here. Hey yo. Hola, como estas? Oh. Hello, sir. Thank you. Uh, doesn't look like you're gonna need this. True. So you see how I drank the uh, the hallucin stuff, hallucination stuff, and all of my stats are now gone. So if you're able to very quickly do that and you do it before you pick up the frog, you should have enough time to go and make that. Now I recommend that you have something that increases your energy. The only way to do that that I'm aware of is with the blue mushroom. So try and get the blue mushrooms from the big trees that have the vines all over it. Where you get these things from, okay? Try and have a few of those on you. And then you should be fine, okay? Now, you can still get stung by stingrays over here. So be extremely careful because you will get fucked. Okay, there's one right there. There's usually a couple though walking around here swimming around here they're not really walking they're swimming uh we want to head i believe this way yes we want to head south this way to right here this is where we fell in the tutorial that you didn't see because i didn't show it but this is where we fell in the tutorial and boop, there we go oh and we hurt ourselves because i didn't do it right that's okay though because i got bandages i was probably on the leg right there that's why you don't make bandages, because you might do that by accident. Okay, there we go. And that'll heal, and we're good to go. So I used, what, two bandages, I think, this game? Three, maybe? I think three. There wasn't really much else to show past that part. Nothing really happened. The path that you take is pretty much a linear path where there's no real wrong way that you can go, and there's no way that you can mess it up. So since nothing happened, and it was just a lot of walking, I cut the entire thing out. We're going to continue our adventure from right here where you discover the main tribal village. That's the village. That's the village right there. That's from Scooby-Doo, the movie, just so you know. These ones right here, these blue mushrooms. This is the only place that these are are on trees like this where you get these vines from, okay? Trees just like this. There might be a snake. There might be a puma. There might be a jaguar. Puma and Jaguars, I don't know, but in this game, who the hell knows anymore? Tribal villagers, most likely. This time they are not there, but there will usually be either two or four tribal villagers right here or none. Come down to the water. Look at this view right here. Look at how good it looks. That's an anthill. Go, don't go near that, just so you know. Do not go near that. <laughs> okay, and then over here is where Mia set up camp. Right here, this is where Mia was chilling. Here we go. That's where Mia was. Look at that. This is, I think, the first time she was here. Here we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mia? Mia, where are you? Mia, say something. God dang it. All right, well, we're at the main village anyway. I had some sticks. We can just harvest this stuff around here anyway. It's fine. Ember required. Put that in there and then drink the drink of hallucination. You're going to miss them again. Mia, where are you? You stay here with me again. Is that what you want? No, no, not again. Just tell me what happened. You cured me. You gave me back hope. I could taste and smell again. I could eat without throwing up. Those were the best six months of my life. And you were by my side the whole time. But Jake, I feel it coming back. I'm afraid of it. 
I lived, but felt dead. I can't go through all that again. I can feel the same grip on my throat. I, I can't swallow or breathe. Seconds stretch into hours, and, and, and I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting to die. Every patient of a Molocorp became a walking time bomb. Everyone was infected. Everyone. Even you. You left me here. You left me alone to die. You wanted to save me again. But what will the price be this time, Jake? What will you sacrifice this time? What the... what happened here? Everything we do makes the tribe suffer. Oh my god. Is that because of my book? It's easier not to remember, isn't it? Do you even remember how you got here? Of course I do. By boat. With you. We put up a tent and... Are you sure? I... I don't understand. How long have you been here? I... Mia... Uh, you know I can't remember. Just tell me. Weeks passed. You were certain you would find the cure. Everyone lost hope. Time went by. You were all alone. How long can you survive on your own? How long can you live with the deaths of millions on your conscience? Maybe it'd be easier to just push it all away. Forget. Start again. Jake? Please answer, Jake. I need you here, Jake. Please. I... I need you to do this for me. Are you? What happened? You didn't listen, did you? I... I don't understand. Why are you here? I told you already. I begged you to end it, but you didn't listen. You never do. Was it worth it? Did you get what you wanted? 
Yes. I have the cure. And now I know where to find you. Then go. What are you waiting for? Okay, I'm gonna try not moving and see what happens. Cause I think, I think this is just a loading screen. Okay. I think from this part out, it's just a loading screen. So I'm gonna just sit here a couple seconds and just see what happens. Haha, I told you it was a loading screen. My brain is too big for this game, dude. Tower, come in. This is Jake Higgins. I got it. I got what everybody's been looking for. Did I... Did I hear you correctly? Say again, over. Yes. Yes, you heard me right. I have the cure. Uh, a, a cure? Oh my god, are you certain? I'll send somebody right away. You know how hard it is to get permission these days? Christ. Is, is this really over? Just... Hurry. I wanted to say goodbye to you. You think I'm still waiting for you? I, I don't know. It's been so long. I don't even know how long. Weeks? Months, maybe? You know, you could always come back to me. I really hope that this won't be necessary. Hey, Mia. Goodbye. Goodbye, mi amor. We don't get to go on like a plane ride or nothing. We don't get to see if she's alive or not. She's probably not. She's probably dead. She's most likely dead. Ooh. Creepy jar. Creepy jar core team. Let's just see if there's something at the end of this credits, just in case. Nope. Nothing. Nothing special at the end credits. All right. Well, that was green hell on the green hell difficulty. That's was pretty good that was a good story okay i only got like a glimpse of of everything okay now again if you want me to go back and do a full proper story on this game i will do that for you guys maybe some tutorials but i i don't know the tutorials on this game on youtube are not that great they're very very poo so i had to do everything by like looking in the book and actually experimenting with stuff by myself so i know a few things but not everything so Anyway, if you want me to do an actual proper story playthrough, let me know by leaving a like. If I get five likes on this video, I will go through and do a proper story playthrough. I might also put in some tutorials on how to do certain things and what certain things do while I'm doing the story playthrough. We'll see. So, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment below, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and bye-bye. Damn, that was a good story. You could try to play it, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange